right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a very long time since I posted a video. I've been super busy and, you know, just living that pandemic life, but we're back and I have a pretty cool spell candle that we've never done before on this channel. So I'm super excited to share this with you. Most of what we do on this channel, um, when it comes to candles are spell candles that um, are fast burning and you know, you don't relight them, you let them burn all the way through. It's a very effective, fast way to get results um, with the activation of the flame. However, there are other ways to use candles in rituals and today we're going to be making what I'm calling a vibe fix candle. So this can be directed towards any intention, whether it be love, attraction, money, prosperity, protection, anything like that, you can suit it to your situation. And it's basically going to be a candle that you would normally put around your house, just a scented candle, but it's going to have layers and layers of intention and spell work put into it so that you can burn it whenever you need that energy in your life. You can burn it when you are doing any kind of workings or you can burn it in a group setting to enhance the atmosphere and the vibrations. So today we are going to be doing a love and attraction candle. My intention for this is to burn it um, whenever I'm in a romantic mood or want to enhance the love and attraction vibes in my home or whenever I'm doing love workings. So the first thing you are going to want to do is to write down exactly what you want to happen with the spell. It can be more general or it can be very specific. Um, I'm doing, like I said, a love spell attraction candle today. So I wrote down some love sigils and what I wanted to happen. I went ahead and folded it up because it is a personal spell. I'd rather not share. But what we're going to do is turn this into spirit powder. So you are going to need a cauldron or some uh, fire safe dish to burn your paper in. Now, I know I've said this before on this channel, but the act of burning down spirit powder is in itself very powerful. Um, it is definitely a spell on its own. I recommend it when you don't have much time, but you definitely have an intention you want to activate into the universe. Um, I have done um, spirit powder for clients before um, that is, you know, to be used in a candle spell. And it turns out that immediately when the paper stopped burning, my client texted me and said that the guy she had been wanting to manifest actually texted her. It was crazy timing and that just goes to show the power of spirit powder alone. So while that finishes burning, we are going to move it to the side and start working on our herbs. So you will need a um, mortar and pestle, uh, something to grind your herbs down if they're not already fine enough. The herbs we are going to be using today are rosebuds, jasmine, rosemary, and some saffron. Now I will tell you the saffron is the secret ingredient and in this saffron is an aphrodisiac. It promotes attraction and lust. Jasmine is good for love and romance as are roses. Um, rosemary is a very good protective love, a calming love. So this mixture will be amazing for what we are trying to do today. So I'm not going to use very many of these um, because I don't like when candles get down to the bottom and all the herbs start burning and the glass breaks. So we are going to grind down a few of these and leave the rest for toppings to our candle. Now we are also going to be using some powdered quartz crystal. If you have powdered um, rose quartz, that would actually be even more perfect. I'm out at the moment, so I'm going to just go with the energy of the clear quartz. If you just have little uh, tiny clear quartz shards, you can use those as well. I would just sprinkle them into the candle as we're pouring it. 
So now we are going to just infuse all of these energies together. Now we are going to add in our spirit powder and infuse the energies of that and the intentions of our spirit powder in with our herbs and crystal powder. All right, now we are going to move this to the side and we are going to work on our oil mixture for the candle. So I have here just our base of scented oils. Um, I have quite a bit in here because I want this candle to be extremely scented and extremely potent. Every time I smell it, I want to remember the energy of this spell. So you can do it, you know, as strong or as mild as you like, it's completely up to you. Now you can also use these scents that speak to you the most, that give you romantic feelings, romantic vibes, um, love, attraction, energy. My mixture, um, I like to go kind of dark and moody with my romance notes and scents. So I have here a blend of amber, musk, teakwood, rose, and vanilla, and it smells incredible. So another secret ingredient to this love candle is going to be these pheromones. Now typically you would apply pheromones directly to your skin or put it in perfume because it doesn't really have a scent. It mixes in with your own uh, body oils and it produces a scent that is unique to you that will draw a partner or draw attraction towards you. We are putting it in here mainly as a, a metaphorical ingredient because we are trying to bring things towards us. So I'm just going to add a few drops of that. And I also have here bewitching oil. I love this oil for love spells because you wanna be kind of careful when you do any kind of love workings because you don't want to, or at least I don't ever want to really affect like the free will of another person, but I love enhancing the attraction vibes. So bewitching just kind of makes people super attracted and bewitched by you basically. So we're just going to add in a few drops of that. Now we're going to move that out of the way. The next thing you are going to need is a jar. Um, you can reuse a jar that you have in the fridge. You can buy a jar for this. You can get them at the dollar store for super cheap, completely up to you. You will also need a wick. I made this one out of a cotton t-shirt. It's super easy. Um, there's tutorials online. And I went ahead and just secured it to the bottom of this so that when we pour our oil in, um, everything is ready to go and to set. So I'm going to go grab our wax base and I will be right back. All right, so I have here our wax base. You may notice there are some ashes in the bottom. I didn't have any more soy wax beads on hand, so I ended up melting down a few candles I had already been burning. So just ignore that. Usually it would be absolutely gorgeous. However, when this candle sets, all of that will float to the bottom. So no love lost here. All right, so first we are going to add in our herb, spirit powder, and quartz mixture. And next we are going to add in our oil mixture. Now, as you stir this, you're going to want to think about exactly what you want to happen, what you want to manifest. All right, so we are going to grab our jar with our wick already set, and we are going to pour our wax mixture in slowly. Now I have extra wax here because I plan on making a few of these candles. However, for the video, I'm just going to show the single. So now what you're going to want to do is let this set. You can put it in the freezer. You can just let it set naturally. And when it gets um, closer to being hard at the top, we are going to come back in and add some 
uh, herbs to the top of our candle. So I will see you guys in a little bit when that happens. All right, guys, we are back. I'm sorry for the lighting change. It ended up getting super dark while I was waiting for this candle to set. Um, I ended up not being able to film me topping off the candle with the herbs, but I ended up just sprinkling some of the herbs on top as the candle was almost set. So now what we need to do is cut our wick. All right, everyone. Well, that is basically the end of the tutorial. I'm super excited to use this candle whenever I want to enhance the love and attraction vibes in my home or when I'm doing any kind of love workings. So let me know if you guys want me to do any more tutorials for different types of candles like this. I'd be happy to. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you are reminded anytime I post new content. And I will see you next time.